So one day, Snake Eyes and Shipwreck were out in the field on a routine mission, and they came across what they thought were ruins. Well, what they didn't realize after further searching is that they had discovered a old G.I. Joe headquarters. And Snake Eyes apparently didn't say anything. Shipwreck uh, had one weakness. So they were searching and Shipwreck <sighs> fell asleep on the uh, jail in, in, in what used to be the, the old jail of this uh, uh, <laughs> G.I. Joe headquarters. Snake Eyes just kind of sighed because, you know, he doesn't really say much. And um, so this I actually got from Retro Madness. And it, the shell of it is there. And it's also got the uh, Hella Carrier, which I'll show you in just a second. I said Hella Carrier, I meant Helipad. So this is where the uh, helicopters land and take off. And I've actually got a uh, helicopter that I have. And the She-Hulk has been oh so nice as to uh, lend some of her awesome... Uh, sound effects to this review so what happens whenever we land on the uh, helipad she-hulk thank you she-hulk for that awesome uh, rendition of a uh, helicopter it was spot on right that puts the guy from the police kind of movies to shame so as you can see uh, I've got most of the base you know, the basic parts. And I wanted to show you guys the before of me building this and the after of it being what I like to call as completed as I wanted it to be. This is when a funny story comes into play. This is the story of uh, me getting parts for this uh, playset from Boston Mike for in uh, lieu of bacon yes bacon rich good bacon so um i actually went to retro madness to buy this and i got a killer deal on it and the wife approved so thumbs up and uh mike was was sitting there saying man i i would kill for some freaking bacon right now and <laughs> the the other guy that's there, Daniel, was like, yeah, but, you know, you're you're still on the clock and everything. So, uh, Mike couldn't have his bacon that night. Today, Mike uh, messages me and says, hey, uh, you going to meet me at Retro Madness and I'll get you some parts for some, some of the parts that you're missing. And I said, okay, cool, cool. So, uh, I, I went up to the shop, but before I did that, I made a special stop by uh, Waffle House. And uh, got Mike a side of bacon. I walked in there. Mike goes, hey, Uber Hulk. And I said, dude, I got something for you. I showed him the uh, side of bacon that I had uh, purchased for him. And his face lit up. So um, there's a story for you. The next time that you uh, need parts to any vehicle or uh, anything that you're looking for parts wise, bring some bacon along. You you might get a, a as as killer deal as as I got today, just FYI. So that's the bacon story. So I cleaned this, I dusted it off, and I want you guys to see the before, uh, and the after of me putting the parts on. So here's what it looks like before. It's pretty bland and uh, it just looks like ruins, right? Now I'm going to put all the pieces on that I have, and this is an ongoing project, kind of like David Blucher's uh, uh, two uh, hovercraft projects that uh, he's got. So let's say goodbye to Snake Eyes and uh, Shipwreck, wake up! So the first piece 
that I'm going to show you. This is before putting the new piece back on, which is still a vintage piece, but it's new to me. And this is after I, I still have to uh, clean it, but this is after putting the front gunner piece on, which, like I said, it's a little dusty, but you know, that's where uh, elbow of grease comes in. So that's the first part that I got. So the second piece is kind of a hidden gem. There's a uh, place that you can store weapons down there, but as you can see, I don't actually have any uh, where to store stuff. And now there's a weapons rack back there. <laughs> He's at rack. Shut up, shipwreck. While we're focused on this uh, back piece right here, uh, there's nothing here, and I actually have a piece that goes right here. And now we have the uh, satellite dish that goes back there, which is awesome. Uh, up front, you can tell it's pretty bland and boring. Let's fix that. So now we can see that I have, there's a, a spotlight there, a spotlight there, and a spotlight over here, which as you can tell, it makes it look a ton better. There's no, there's nothing on the gel cell, and and I was able to pick up one of the doors, which that's fine. I'm perfectly fine with that because, you know, like I said, this is a uh, ongoing project. So there's one of the doors to the gel cell. And I also discovered that there's something that goes in this hole right here, which everybody's going to like. So the piece that went into that hole was actually the G.I. Joe flag. And on the opposite side is the American flag, which is awesome. You remember when I showed you the satellite? Well, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a huge empty space right here. The next piece that I've got, so the next piece that that I was able to pick up from uh, Boston Mike for Bacon, which is fun, try, try, try saying that four times fast, Boston Mike for Bacon, Boston Mike for Bacon, Boston Mike for Bacon, Boston Mike for Bacon, is the uh, computer center of the uh, headquarters. So panning out, I got a pretty great deal on all these things and all for the price of some lovely bacon. I just uh, hope that I can finish the rest of this uh, headquarters for right about the same price. Bacon. So this has been a uh, Uber Hulk, uh, what I bought for bacon. And uh, this has been the uh, G.I. Joe headquarters. So let's uh, say goodbye to everybody and get uh, Snake Eyes and uh, Shipwreck back in here. Oh, come on. Where's the stupid bacon button on this? Okay, Shipwreck, there's not a button that you can order bacon. Okay, Uber Eats does not deliver bacon. All right? It just doesn't. Like I said, Shipwreck, there is not a delivery service that will bring bacon to the G.I. Joe headquarters. Bacon delivery. Ship, uh, shipwreck. You, I don't know how you did that. Okay? I don't know how you did that. Shipwreck, the G.I. Joe. So, Snake Eyes actually thought it was a pretty good uh, deal for all, the, all that equipment for the price of bacon, too. So uh, here is my G.I. Joe headquarters and Snake Eyes and Shipwreck. And uh, tell me what you thought. Um, Boston Mike and me are still working on a price for the rest of the uh, pieces, parts that, that he can find at Retro Madness. And um, tell me if you have ever struck up a deal for the price of bacon or, or any other kind of meat substitute spam need not apply
Anyways, so this has been another Uber Hulk video, and uh, we will catch you guys later. Shipwreck, I don't know how the crap you did that, but now I want bacon. <laughs>